Hey, this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MJNA. We will take a look at the daily time frame. Did this one a few days ago. All these lines you see here from were from the last time I did it. Uh, and uh, the previous video I talked about how it had broken out of the wedge pattern. And uh, since then, unfortunately, it's basically hasn't been much better. Uh, three red days in a row after that initial breakdown, which was on this day right there. Uh, so I do want to get things updated. I had some people asking about where some potential bounce areas are, or in other words, where support levels. So that's what I mainly want to talk about. Where are some areas where uh, the price could potentially, uh, you know, bounce and hopefully see some sort of, uh, you know, reversal or just, uh, you know, a trading opportunity on a bounce. So the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to get rid of these lines because while they do still pertain to the chart, uh, for the time being, they're just kind of making things more confusing than they need to be. Uh, but the one thing I do want to update is that extend this out and this level was a support but now that the price has closed below it it is turned into a resistance and I actually want to make that line a little bit skinnier since it's not a you know a, a huge level of resistance the other level of resistance that was put in this week too was from uh, the previous low from back here on uh, February 22nd and this level of resistance again former support is at 0.185 so on any sort of bounce these will be the two key levels of resistance that you're going to want to keep your eye on to judge the strength of any sort of upwards movement now in terms of support levels and potential bounce areas looks like they're basically matching up but the first one is going to come right around we'll call the 15 and a half cents area so 0.155 this is a potential bounce spot and then right below it not too far below at we'll call it 0.145 so a penny below is this yellow line here which is the 200 day cent moving average and this is a very important level of support so again right here at 15 and a half cents and then the 200 day cent moving average right there and then if you're in this for the overall chart or care about what the overall uh, context of things is this is the must hold no excuses uh, it, it just has got a hold because if the price closes below this now all of a sudden the price is below all of its moving averages and that's just not what you want to see. So if you're still hanging in uh, to this for the overall chart or whatever, uh, you know, this is definitely a, a crucial level of support that the price needs to remain above. So uh, there should be some, some good support here. That's uh, traditionally the case, uh, but it's definitely a level that, uh, you know, it, it, it's it got a hold of this chart. It's got any sort of chance of, you know, popping back up on traders' radars in a positive light. So if there are any other questions though on the chart, Please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to sign up for our newsletter up there. When you do that, as you'll see, you'll get a free ebook. If you enjoyed the video and want to learn more about charting and how to use it in your strategy as a trader, I'd encourage you to make an investment into your education and click down there. Check out our video course over eight and a half hours of video and teaching. Been getting great third-party reviews, so I'd encourage you to check it out and give it a try. One more time, this was MJNA. Thanks for listening and have a great weekend.